All right, so in this problem, we are given a formula, v squared equals 4 minus 2n, and we want to see which of the following statements is true for this formula. Now, let's read over answer A. When the value of n is greater than 2, there are no solutions for v. Now, let's see when there are solutions for v and when there isn't. v squared equals 4 minus 2n. Now, we know that any variable squared, in order for it to have an answer, has to be greater than 0. We cannot have v squared equal to negative 4. That is impossible. All right, so if we have v squared is greater than 0, and v squared equals 4 minus 2n, so this 4 minus 2n also has to be greater than 0. So now let's solve for this inequality. We can add 2n on both sides, and we have 4 is greater than 2n and we can divide 2 on both sides, and now we have 2 is greater than n, or n has to be less than 2. All right, so now, now we know at what numbers and at what scale the v squared will have an answer, and so when the value of n is greater than 2, there are no solutions for v. Well, this is true, because what we just found here is that any number that is greater than 2 will not give us a solution for v. All right, so now let's see why b, c, and d are incorrect. b states when the value of n is greater than 2, v is necessarily negative. Well, we just found that if n is greater than 2, then there is no solution for v, and so it cannot also have a negative answer. Therefore, b is incorrect, and now let's move on to c. When the value of n is less than 2, v is necessarily positive. Well, this is incorrect because when, we, when the value of n is less than 2, then we have a solution for v. And v, because it's squared, can give us or a positive answer or a negative answer. Let's, let's show an example. If the value of n is less than 2, let's say the value of n is 1. So let's plug that in. We have v squared equals 4 minus 2 times 1. So we have v squared equals 4 minus 2, which is 2. And now in order to solve for v squared, we square root both sides. And now we have v equals plus or minus rad or radical 2. All right, so this, is, this disproves answer C. And now we can move on to answer D. When the value of n is greater than negative 2, there are no solutions for v. Well, we proved this to be incorrect in the beginning when we said that n has to be less than 2 in order for v to have a solution. And when the value of n is greater than negative 2 is incorrect. It has to be when the value of n is greater than positive 2, then there will be no solutions for v. So d is incorrect, and a will remain our final answer.